I was a healthy kid. I loved climbing trees and riding my bicycle. My father used to take us fishing. We'd dig clams on the beach. We had a beach house on Whippy Island. Nothing ever stood in my way of being active. They were inside my clothes. They were everywhere. It was hard, yes. But everybody thinks that I was angry or terrified. I wasn't. I was too sick. She was, she was pretty sick when I was growing up. I would go in and yell for her, and I just expected that one, one of those times she just wasn't going to answer. I remember Sarah coming into my bedroom constantly to check to see if Mommy was okay, and that was hard for me. I just always looked to the future and looked to a good future. I've had a very good life. I got two degrees. Each time when I finished school, I went and got a job full time. I've traveled all around the world. I've had wonderful children and they have families. I tell my kids that their children are my exponential miracles. She's just been a, um, an excellent patient in every way. She's a very good example for patients who are starting dialysis or having a kidney transplant. Really, if you're starting now, it's going to be easier for you. She did it when it was hard. So uh, I think you can look at Nancy and say, well, you know, she did it when it was hard. I should be able to do it now. The fact that she worked full time as a nurse, raised a family, and volunteered and had an impact on the world. That is an example of a life she was meant to live. I mean, she really is amazing. I'm very grateful that she lived to see me grow up. I am in awe of the fact that she has lived this long and also is this vibrant and healthy. She takes care of my kids weekly and we have holiday dinners and Sunday dinners frequently. Northwest Kidney Centers has always been there for me. They're there when you need help with your diet. They help you with finances. They're there with their wonderful social workers that help you get reoriented to your new life again. Had I not lived in Seattle, I wouldn't be here.